hello everyone i hope you are doing well so today i'm going to show you how you can create a minimal callout animation in after effects so there are three steps in creating a minimal callout so first one is designing your callout and then next animating your callout and the last one is tracking your footage and then compositing the callout with the footage so let's go on the screen and i'll show you how to do it for our callout we need a background footage so we will import it double click here import any footage that you have i'm using this one so create a composition out of it by right click and new composition from selection now dimension of the composition and videos are same and it will help in tracking of camera first thing we will do we will create a morphism layer which will separate our callout from the background footage to do so you have to go into this rectangle tool and hold left mouse button and select this rounded rectangle tool go to choose grid and guide options and select title action safe this will show you the center of composition click and drag press shift and control on your keyboard to make a perfect square you can choose any size you want make sure is white is selected to solid color and it's white and also stroke width is zero now we will go into this drop down arrow and then rectangle and rectangle path and we will increase this roundness 200 you can choose any value you want i'm choosing 75 for this one select this layer and duplicate it two times Control d and one more time now name this one as inner layer and hide hide this one and this one name it outline make its fill to none and stock with three select this one and name this morphism layer now make this an adjustment layer by clicking on this icon any effect applied to this will affect our background footage in this area make sure this one is selected go to effects blur and sharpen and select Gaussian blur increase this value to 50 or any value that you need now it will look something like this now we will add back our inner layer which will help to add a little bit contrast between our footage and the callout so here it is we will scale it down as always you can change the values as you want i'm using about 80 percent of the size i think we should reduce uh, stock width to about two next thing you can do you can add any icon on this inner layer like it could be a logo or any nature icon anything else i'm using this logo so i will drag it here and scale it down around about here position it a little bit above because underline there will be a text and after that you can add a title of your callout type like callout let's make it black increase the size so here it is now to make a connection between our callout and our background footage we have to create a line here and a small knob right here so i will select this pen tool make sure no layer is selected and click in the center and hold shift so this will be a straight line and now what here increase this width to about three position it down so that it make a junction with this outline here yeah, it should look fine to me and now we will add a knob select ellipse tool and hold ctrl and shift to make a perfect round scale and make this fill to solid and width to zero now our callout is designed now our next part is animating our callout to animate our callout we will use scale property for shapes some little text animation and for line we will use trim parts we will add knob at the end so first we will select morphism and outline layers press s and then go about 20 frames ahead you can see frames right here you can see 20 and then add a keyframe of scale 100 and then go about two frames behind and add a value of 110 and now go to first frame and add a, another keyframe with zero value hide these upper layers now it will look something like this you can bring together to make this animation faster it will look something like this and now select all keyframes press f9 to easy ease them and it will look something like this next part will be our inner layer it would be same like this before you have to go to 20 frame press s add a keyframe now go about two frames behind and add a value of 90 10 percent more scale than previous one and now go to first frame and add a value of zero select all keyframes and press f9 it will look something like this give it a little offset we will drag it right here so it will appear after the first animation of morphism layer then our inner layer press s 
go to about 20 scale this one and then two frames behind add 10 more value to it like make it 39 and go to first frame and make it zero all keyframes and press f9 and drag it right here we will animate our text layer go into our drop down menu go to animate and add position bring it a little bit downward to select range selector and add a start keyframe on the first frame and increase this value now it will look something like this select all keyframes and press f9 and now we will add another property which would be opacity so go downward here bring it to zero range selector make it 100 and go to first frame and make it zero now it will look something like this and we will drag it in the timeline so it will appear after our logo so here it is the next thing will be animating our line make this layer visible go in drop down arrow add trim paths open trim paths make this end to zero and add a keyframe at first frame move some frames in timeline and increase this value to 100 select all keyframes press f9 and drag it into timeline it will look something like this and after just after its animation completes we will add this now so hey next thing will be tracking our footage and adding our call out to our composition before we start tracking we will add two null objects duplicate this one we will name this one as track and this other one position and scale and leave them here now select our main footage double click it go into this right layout and find tracker track motion it will add a point right here find a point on your footage which has most contrast in your video it will help better tracking go to first frame and bring it here click on this analyze forward it will automatically track your points after tracking is complete you can click on this edit target and select the track layer we created press ok and then apply and ok now our track data has been transferred to our this track null object now select our all callout layers and parent them with position and scale and position is accordingly make sure it's knob is where you want your callout to be once you position your callout you scale your callout properly select all of these layers and parent them with this track layer now if we play the animation it will look something like this <laughs> 